guys, it's Bria and welcome to my channel. Um, so I, uh, hi. Um, so this is going to be, um, like episode one of a new series that I want to call stories from the front desk. So for those of you who don't know, um, I have worked at hotels for the past like three years or so um, as a seasonal worker um, first um, and now I'm a full-time front desk manager uh, um, of a hotel here in Whitefish, Montana and there are always like things that happen at hotels and I always like have stories I want to share of things that happened um, and I never really thought about putting it on YouTube until like very recently um, and I thought it'd be fun I thought it'd be funny um, so I'm gonna do it anytime I have a story to share like my intention is for these stories to be true and things that happen to me um, at my property we are not completely I wanted these things to be like things that had happened to me that I had experienced and for them to be, you know, 100% true. Um, I'm also going to keep these stories to things that happened somewhat recently because my memory is shot, okay? So I'm not going to be trying to remember something uh, in details of something that happened like years ago, right? Um, so this is going to be episode one. I'm literally like side chat a side bar i don't know what to eat right uh, i have to be working a little bit um so i'm just gonna chew on this chicken sausage so this story is something that did happen like over the winter so last winter um and i wasn't gonna talk about it but something happened at the coffee shop i just went to that made me think about it right so i'm gonna start with what happened at the coffee shop so Went to go get my matcha latte with oat milk uh, and two pumps of vanilla. And I go to the counter to pick it up, right? And the girl who's behind the counter, mind you, like, it's set up like most coffee shops. Like, the counter is open to the barista. All that stuff can be seen straight through. Nothing's hidden. If they speak loud enough, you can very much hear what they're saying, right? And so I go to get my coffee and I have to put it in the sleeve and grab a napkin. So I'm there for a second. And like, so one of their coworkers, one of the like guys was like headed out for the day. And everybody was like, like, like uh, uh, whatever his name is, like bye Jason or whatever. And one of the little girlies that gave me my drink, as soon as he left the vicinity, she was like, I used to not like him. Like when I first met him, da 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 da, da. And like I was walking away and I was kind of smirking because I thought it was funny. Uh, I didn't hear the rest of her like reasoning for not liking him. But you know, if we had a conversation about it, I would say like, no, it's not the most professional thing to do because you don't want to be caught gossiping or talking about other coworkers in a negative way. Like in front of like customers or guests, like it's not professional, but it ain't none of my business. Like I'm not gonna go tell your manager and be like, oh, your employee was gossiping about her coworker and it's so unprofessional. Like it's none of my business. I'm going about my day. Like none of my business, right? Mm. But it made me think of this instance that happened over the winter. So basically, and I will admit, I was talking to another uh, employee in the bathroom that's in the lobby area, so it's used by guests and employees. So I could understand if you were to say like, hey, maybe that wasn't the best place because maybe it wasn't. But listen to the story real quick. So I'm in the, I'm in the restroom talking to another um, employee. Um, and she, I think she was the assistant housekeeping manager at the time. And we were talking about one of the bellmen, Tim. And we were talking to him, talking about him very positively. Um, I think we were talking about 
like how he had emptied the trash in the bathroom and how it's not necessarily his job but he like goes above and beyond and doesn't have to be told to do anything or like he takes the initiative to do things that he sees needs to be done even if they're not like within his like immediate realm of responsibilities and so we were just talking about like oh wow he didn't even have to be told like I didn't even have to tell him to do that he did it himself like and we were talking about how we couldn't believe that they had gotten him to take that job because technically in the summertime he is the manager in West Glacier but West Glacier closes in the winter so he comes to my property that's open year-round but he can't come back as a manager because there's no manager position for him to come to during the winter so he ends up kind of being demoted down to a bellman which is like a couple of rungs below what he is at at the summertime right um uh, but he is very helpful as a bellman like he was doing his thing and we really appreciated it so we were talking positively about it like how we couldn't believe they could get him to come and do this like kind of lower position and stuff like that we weren't mindful of who was in the vicinity because we weren't like for lack of a better word, we weren't talking shit. Um, so we weren't really like paying attention because we was minding our own business, right? We were in there talking for probably five, eight minutes, right? And one of the other front desk agents comes to the bathroom and she's like, and we're looking at her like, well, well, what you doing? What's wrong? She's like, I just wanted to see who was in here because there's a lady who just came to the desk and she was like, it's so nice to hear your employees gossiping about other employees. I was like, what? And homegirl I was talking to was like, we were both confused because again, we were minding our own business. So we hadn't noticed that somebody had like, was like in the restroom, like in the stalls and had come out, heard us and then like left out and went to the front desk. And we were, we were looking kind of shocked because we told him like, we weren't, we were talking about Tim, but we were talking very positively about him. Like, I mean, you could technically say we were gossiping, but we all know that gossiping, like the word has a negative connotation. And we were like praising him and speaking highly of him. So we were very confused, like, okay, like she didn't mind her business. And it was so funny, we even told Tim because like, it wasn't anything we were trying to hide because we were being nice. I think some people need to know or have been lied to and told that their opinion always matters and they should share their opinion when they feel like it because honey, no one cares. Sometimes your opinion is your opinion it should just stay in here. It's funny to me. Again, at the time, I think I was, I was the assistant front desk manager. I laughed it off. I told Tim, I said, we said this. This lady said that we were gossiping. I thought it was funny. I don't know if she left a review or what, but it wouldn't be the first time. I'm like, this, a, this has nothing to do with you at all. So there was something similar that kind of happened. Um, also around that time, like you'll get, you'll get another story here, a little one. Um, it was uh, one of the evenings where we had a musical act, right? And so during the winter, things are slower. So they bring in musical acts to attract people to the restaurant, right? And, um, you know, there were, there, there were a couple of kids in the restaurant. Again, it's a restaurant like Slash Bar, but it's ultimately a restaurant. And so there were a couple of kids there and there was one particular kid that was like dancing and having a good time. Well, we're at the front desk, like we're not in the restaurant, so we don't know what's going on, but everything comes through the front desk, whether we have control over it or not. And so someone comes from the restaurant and comes to the front desk and it's like, I think it's so inappropriate that people would bring their kids to a bar and have them dancing out out here like something was wrong. Like, like it was weird. Like she was acting like something was wrong with it, but there wasn't really anything wrong. And we were all like, okay. And somebody was coming behind her and had heard her and had witnessed the kid dancing. And he was like, oh, he's, he's special needs. He's minding his own business. So she should as well. And I was like, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Drama. But yeah, like sometimes you should keep your opinion to yourself because you don't know the whole story. You really don't know. 
Um, but my camp is about to die. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, and look forward to another uh, story from the front desk. Please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you next time. Bye.